Here we'll see how to create a fading effect. So you can see here that the image is very much fading, it's in the background, allowing you to bring text and other elements to the foreground. You can see in these slides how it's been used to strong effect where for the images of the children, one has been kept in colour down here while the rest have been faded to grey. So let's look at an image that I downloaded earlier from Microsoft Online Images. And if I just simply copy it, and I'm going to paste it back in the same position. So I'm just going to very carefully replace it so that it's exactly on top of the other image. Then double clicking on it brings up the formatting ribbon and I can go to the color options and choose one of the faded options. So I can choose maybe just to go black and white or this is the faded option that I had before. So if I want to do that, now I have an image in front of the other image. I want to add an animation to it now. So if I go to the animations tab and I'm just going to choose a, say a fading in image. So if I preview this slide now you should see the original image, the clear uh, color image, and then it fades into this. And if you line the images directly one on top of the other then you will have no kind of glitch between the two. If I look at this slide here, you can see if I do a preview, what happens is it highlights one person within it. So previewing it again, um, you can see that this person is highlighted. So let's deconstruct how this, this is done. There's actually three elements. There's the image that we start with, that we see at the beginning, which is the image of all four people in colour. And then we have, I've cropped the image just down to one person so that that one person is in color and faded the edges and then I've put a, in the very background the gray image so if I simply delete this one for the moment you can see that you've got a gray background with the one person as an image so let's see can we do that can we set that up so I'll just pull back uh, the image that I've deleted and I'll just copy it and go to a new slide so if we paste it in here, and I'll just move it up so that it's in the middle of the slide, what we need to start by doing is simply copying it twice more. So we paste it in, and um, so I'm just going to paste it in as an image, and then you have to just align them so that they're clearly one on top of the other, and I'm going to make this one, and then I'll just paste it in one more time. So uh, paste it in again, and then realign it back so that they're all three images are directly on top of each other. Then this first image I'm going to cut this down so I'm going to crop it so that I just highlight one person. So in this case let's highlight the lady here. So we're going to just zoom in here and crop it so that this one person is highlighted. So we're happy with that so we're going to be keeping that in colour. So click anywhere else and that then will or click outside the image. Now we have that one image and we can double click on it and just fade the edges so that there's an element of just kind of a drop shadow. I probably don't want a shadow, yeah, drop shadow effect. Um, no, I don't want that. I just want simply just faded edges. So maybe it's this one here. And then if I go back to this image, I'm going to recolor this and just make that the kind of kind of faded outlook. So now I have that lady highlighted. So if I group these two images together, if I can do that, let's see if we can group those, then that's one element that we're going to fade to. And we're going to then maybe send, uh, we're going to animate this in. So let's click on the animation tab and we want it to fade in. So now if we do a preview, it will start with the image, the colour image, and then it's just going to fade to the image with grey. So that's how you do that effect.